Civil disobedience is something that has been talked about through history from uh, the early New Testament Christians all the way up to the present time. And our founders understood the idea of civil disobedience as well. It's the last possible resort that you should resort to when all other efforts have failed and when there is an unjust law that's at issue. Martin Luther King Jr. in the letter from the Birmingham jail was asked why he was disobeying certain laws. And he wrote a very solid letter that goes back into our Christian history to say that there are some laws that are just simply unjust. And those laws are laws that are clearly contrary to God's law, that conflict. And God's law is supreme. The magistrates on earth have to execute various laws. But when they come to the point where they absolutely contradict God's law and require us to do something that is completely contrary to God's law, not just inconvenience, then I think it's our right and in fact it's our duty to disobey and to engage in civil disobedience. But that's the last resort. You have to also be prepared to suffer the consequences of civil disobedience. And really, America grew out of civil disobedience. It was an act of disobedience because the founders believed that the God-given liberties that they were endowed with by their Creator ultimately were trampled, not once, not twice, but repeatedly, and that the recourse that they tried in the civil body politic failed, and that this was the last possible resort. Well, I think if you look at various parts of the scripture and you look at where the apostles were told that they shouldn't preach in the name of Jesus and they said, we have to obey God rather than man. Jesus says to render unto Caesar that which belongs to Caesar and to God that which belongs to God. Oftentimes people use that verse to say that you need to simply obey the government. But it says render to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. And when it comes to a point where your obligation to God is in such conflict, where it is irreconcilable with what Caesar is demanding, then you have no choice but to render unto God what belongs to God, to obey God rather than man. And I think in the early American Revolution, they found themselves in a situation, and one can debate whether they had reached that point of no return or not, but they believed strongly that they had reached a point of no return, that their God-given liberties had been suppressed by the King of Great Britain. They had done everything possible to try to solve that situation. They did not want to engage in civil disobedience, and they did not want to start a new country, but they would rather be free than to be slaves. They would rather follow God than to follow a tyrant, and they ultimately drew that line in the sand.